It's WWE WrestleMania 33 weekend. We're down at the Performance Center here in Orlando, and I'm joined by NXT or developmental head coach Matt Bloom. How are you, Matt? I'm great. Welcome to our home. Thank you for having me. Uh, I hope you just like what you see. It's pretty cool. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Can I stay? <laughs> uh, like... ooh, I don't know, man. You gotta, you gotta have a special pass to be, be here every day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, what is it like, you know, waking up in the morning, getting in the car, knowing that you're coming here? To, this is your office. This is grand, where you get to come. Grand. I, you know, uh, I say this often. Uh, my passion has met my career. I love what I do. Uh, I love what I did, and I get to coach a bunch of amazing individuals who have the same goals that I had to succeid. And how could that not be the greatest gift of, of all? It's unbelievable. Well, let's rewind a few years. When the crossover came between you being talent and being on the main roster here in WWE, you've done plenty of work in Japan as well and all over the world. That crossover from being talent to a coach or, or to, to you know managerial side of things, well, what was that like? Uh, you know, for me it was easy because I was ready to get out. Uh, I always said when I stop love what I'm doing, I need to move on. This life's too short, and I just wasn't loving getting in the ring anymore on that capacity of competing like that. And I was a teacher before, and I loved teaching before I got into wrestling. So uh, I asked Triple H one day, you know, when my time comes, because I feel like it is coming, uh, would you be interested in, in maybe giving me a shot as a coach? And he said, I'll think about it. And uh, thank goodness he gave me a shot. The rest is history. Thank goodness, thank goodness. I, yeah. I, I, thank, I thank him every day. The thing I want to ask you is, and I know um, your colleague Canyon has a lot to do with the actual talent scouting process, and he's the one that you send out and he goes and finds the talent. Um, but with all the different indie circuit shows that are on this weekend, and you know, you've got the best of the best pro wrestling as a whole in Orlando for one week straight. Do you have time to go and check out any of that? Or, or are you aware, obviously, of the, the, kind, I, oh, the, the yeah, caliber aware. of talent that's here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're always aware. Uh, you need to be aware. You're selling the business that I love so much short if I'm not aware of what's out there because I know what the future needs and I know what the future entails. And if we don't build a strong present, the future's going to suffer. So we always want the best and we always know what's going on. Absolutely. And what's it like when you hear names like the Young Bucks, Bullet Club, um, guys like Kenny Omega use the WWE brand to almost hype their profile up a little bit, circulating with rumors and social media, the power of it these days, and it's like, oh, you're coming to WWE, you're going to make the jump. What's that like for you looking on the outside and being in the position that you're in? I get it. I get it. I mean, uh, let's not lie. And anyone who doesn't admit this is lying. Uh, WWE is global. It's the biggest stage in the world. So any of those guys you just named, they love what we do. So why wouldn't they want to showcase their skills on the grandest stage of them all? So if that's what's going to take them to get what they need to get to, yeah, they're dropping WWE's name. Why wouldn't they? It's, it's, it's the best. Yeah. You know? so would you say, come on down to the Performance Center, sign up? <laughs> yeah, man, great talent right there. <laughs> great talent that uh, they're carving out some, some nice niches for themselves. And uh, I'm sure we're all cross paths maybe one day.